Since 1959, 73 men have been accepted into the astronaut program. Here, nine of those most recently selected take part in jungle training exercises at the Tropic Survival School in the Panama Canal Zone. Although all U.S. astronauts have landed in the ocean after returning from space, the spacecraft are so designed that in an emergency, they can safely come down over land. Since there is a remote possibility that this could occur, all astronauts are taught how to survive in both the jungle and the desert. During their four-day course in the wilds of Panama, the astronauts were dropped into the water in a swamp penetration exercise. Studied some of the various jungle animals at a zoo set up especially for this purpose. Took an overnight trek through the jungle. Chopped down trees for shelter and fuel. Built fires and cooked wild game and met with some of the local Indians. At a place called Pasco, 100 miles southwest of Spokane, Washington, the astronauts took part in another intensive training course, Desert Survival. One of the first things the men had to learn was how to build a shelter to protect themselves from the hot sun. A combination of parachutes and life raft seemed to do the job. Improvise is the key word to desert survival. Here they dig a water still. By digging a hole in the sand and covering it with plastic, what little moisture there is in the soil condenses on the underside of the plastic and drips into a container. Even a crash helmet makes an acceptable shovel. Another important technique they learned was how to attract the attention of rescue airplanes. By using signal mirrors, and markers, they made themselves visible from overhead. Hopefully, survival training will never have to be used, but should the contingency take place, the astronauts will be well prepared. <laughs>